So I've had most of the Apocalypse Wave sitting around in the boxes for the longest time because all I wanted was Wolverine, Psylocke and the Beth itself. Now having this big chunk of fodder just staring at me for over a year is rather tempting so I decided to have a closer look at Sabretooth. First of all, I hate the Hyperion body on Victor here. Aside from being a really stupid looking body in general, it's also completely wrong for a 90s Sabretooth. Sabretooth in this costume to me has always been a massive behemoth of a man and the Hyperion body is just too average looking in comparison. Second, the head. I actually quite like this head, however it's way too big and the eyes like on so many female figures are too far apart. I started messing around with it for fun, trying to replicate the sadistic grin I gave my old Marvel Select figure back in the day. The lower part of the mouth is a separate piece, so I just pulled it out, cut it down and started sculpting around it to make the transition as seamless as possible. I also repainted his hair and the mane on his costume. Finally, I drilled a hole into his head to make the socket deeper. The original head sat really high on the neck, so it just helps with already awkward proportions a bit. Okay, so done! Turns out I don't actually love it though. I just can't get over the body and the distance between the eyes and I kept comparing him to my old custom Sabretooth and realizing that I like him more. However, back in the day when I made him, I was too inexperienced to sculpt teeth, so I just painted them on. So, I sculpted the new teeth with clay. Bottom row first so the upper teeth would naturally be in front. Then after finishing the teeth, I sculpted an upper lip to add natural depth to the mouth. Finally, I gave the teeth a paint wash with Reichland Flesh Shade and painted each tooth separately with a light beige blend. Now, I remember back in the day in my comment section, some people complained that I cut off his big orc tusks. First of all, his name is Sabretooth, as in Sabretooth Tiger. If Victor had large fangs, it would have to be his upper teeth. Second, Jim Lee never drew him with particularly large teeth at all, and by giving him tusks, it downplays the look that Victor is actually quite clever. Last thing I did was drilling a new peg hole into the head. The old hole was at an angle, so the head couldn't look straight to the sides. Instead, it just sort of awkwardly spun around at an angle. Hope you like him, and if you want to buy the Legends figure, let me know.